During a media address today in Kabale, Dr. Chris Bariomusi, the Minister for Information, Communication, Technology and National Guidance, insisted that government will not hesitate to fire teachers who will be reported to have disrespected the government's expectations. Bariomusi says they will be able to deal with teachers who will opt for a court action. Permanent secretary was clear that if you are dissatisfied, you can seek court redress. They are free to go to court, but I doubt whether court the question of government's comment on the decision of UNATU as teachers continuing the strike and also the university lecturers joining them in the strike. Good morning to you, Stephen. Yes, good morning to you. Thank you so much, Priscilla. This is the starting day wow. after the nonsense teachers went, decided to go on strike. And in some, in some schools and uh, different parts of the country, learners have not been getting what their parents are sending them to get from the schools. I'm here with, yes, indeed, the right honorable Robina Nabandi Amsapi. She's also the woman MP for Kakumi District. Good morning to you, honorable. Thank you so much for welcoming me inside your home. Good morning. We know you are leading the government business. Uh, one of the arms uh, where government is supposed to offer service to the nation is education. And after a two-year lockdown, our children were sent to schools, in public schools, they're not getting the arts uh, lessons. They're only getting the sciences, especially those in secondary. This should be concerning you as government. Of course. It is concerning government. It is concerning everybody. It's a concern for the country. I want to inform the general public that as a government, we are we are concerned of what is happening and who we, we are committed to the last salary of all civil servants, including teachers. The National Unity Platform spokesperson, Joey Senyoni, who tripos as the Nagawa East Member of Parliament. In fact, tripos. Well, yes, he tripos as well as the Kosasi chairperson. chairperson. I was right to say he triples. He came out on behalf of the National Unity Platform and stated that the government should stop threatening teachers mm. in, in, with an intent of ending their strike. Mm. It's a very good evening for everybody watching Global TV Uganda. My name is Senaulia Adrian Charles, mm. and this is the Global TV. We are always here to digest matters of national importance, political, mm. social, and economic. Mm. Uh, these matters, they can be within the country. Mm. They can just be on the on the neighborhood and uh, they can be outside the country mm. well uh no national unity platform on the, okay national unity platform this time run behind joseph senior mm. came out and told the government they, mm. they told they called for the government they they urged did they urged did they order it is a sort of um... Uh, stand from national unity platform in a way of trying to guide the government. They, yes, they thought it was right to stop mm. threatening the teachers mm. that are on strike. Mm. What is this the gist of the matter? Because we have three things. Mm. Teachers should stop striking and be patient with their salaries. Mm. Two, the government should raise the salaries of the teachers. Mm. And three, the teachers should stop, the, the, the state should stop threatening. This is so sick. There are so many <laughs> things listen, that are surrounding. Listen, I was still breaking this down. Okay. That, that, that the state should stop threatening teachers about their strike. We have three. One, striking for salaries is, is high in the agenda. It is number one. Mm. Two, is raising the teachers' salary. Mm. Three, that the teachers may stop striking and before you pick out the weakest matter and that is that the state should stop not telling the teachers to stop striking not telling the state to raise the money i, I don't know whether you're getting me but telling the state to stop threatening teachers that are striking what's your take with me i have mine okay stopping uh teachers uh from striking you know no 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 that is the stand of the of the government but also there is this stand of national unity platform among so many voices that have come out 
when we talk about so many voices we are not meaning the 42 or so million ugandan voices now we should understand that in the real world if you're working there is an employer and employee and uh, for an employer is the one who offers a job so an employee gets the job at the time when you get a job you must have agreed on how much you should get as per earning as much as there, there would be uh, advocation or struggling for pay raise then you should understand one another here the employer in the real world becomes a boss and uh, i would want to accept that as the government the government has all the right to say if you cannot take this as a kind of payment i can now offer as the i think on how much to add then better off get dismissed mm. when they come up with such strategy they are not wrong if it is um you as a person you are a, a private employer so your employees are not happy based on the salary you are offering them yet on uh, uh year in year out we see so many teachers applying for the same job that these people are trying to think it's it's not worth in terms of payment you'd be tempted to think no let me dismiss these people and consider a new force and i think there the government is not wrong why it could be wrong is that probably it has delayed to put in a, uh in 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 place the or to implement the promises that have been always made to these teachers and i will still get back to Which my words the promises the promises fire it fire. is one promise but when they it gets to the same but you are promising so many times of the same that is the increase in teachers salary uh, we saw it coming in 2020 2021 and this is 2022 and this, it comes every when the president yes, is on an education yes occasion. and i believe i like it i believe uh, even this time as i already stated before these people are not going to have any increment i want also to borrow the submission from one a politician that is ibrahim samuju just like me we think alike he did state that this government has no any luxury of money to have to offer teachers of science for million shillings it's a lot of money bit of science alone four million shilling ugandan shillings monthly that's a lot of money we're not talking about the six uh, hundred close to 600 members of parliament mm -hmm. who get over than 30 million ugandan shillings but we're talking about 10,000 plus science teachers so this increment would be unsustainable according to Semju and I. So we believe it is not practical unless that the government is aided by the international uh, bodies, probably the NGOs uh, or any country, uh, don do donor country, to have this a reality. Secondly, I, as you stated, National Unity Platform coming up to add on a voice to tell the government do not threaten. I, you know, like feel like they are right, but also wrong at the same time. Now you are telling an employer of some people who are not your own to stop intimidating them. I'm just wondering, as these people carry on with their striking, are they going to have a salary cut for this month? They are not. So they will have it paid fully. Who pays them? It is the government. Second, that they have to teach the poor Ugandan learner. So as this learner misses in class, would we, would we really feel the impact of working of these teachers? How are they going to compensate this? And how do you think an employer can feel? Let's actually be realistic anyway. So that is why I believe they are wrong, but where I believe they are right, that the government should also stay up somehow make a stand if you cannot afford increasing salaries of these people better tell them we are not this in is, position this is, this is this is what it has driven me to in my silence mm. i thought of a certain man mm. and i'm still asking myself whether president Museveni 
is a dictator as he is saying to mm. Napoleon Bonaparte, I always relate to him because he's the greatest, I think. He's the greatest of all the he's, leaders. He's an inspiration to you. And I don't I don't I I I, 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 I do not blame you. He's I an inspiration I don't, I don't, to I don't many. At any well. one point, I, I don't at any one point mm. uh, think of being like him. I don't want to be a president. I I've not thought of being a president. Maybe but you can become a president, but you can never be like him. I have not thought of being in a position like him. Okay, he, he, let's he, continue. Yeah. Now, at one point, his students said, we are not teaching art subjects anymore. Mm. We are concentrating on sciences. He had his political reasons. Mm. But how could you now stand to say, because this time around, they are not raising art subject teachers. Mm. But he, the other man is saying that we are not teaching sciences anymore. If you've been a, rather arts anymore, if you've been a, an arts teacher, go and try some other business. Mm. Now, someone comes and says, I have risen the price, the, the salaries of the salaries of science teachers. Mm. By the way, take us through the steps of becoming a government. Uh, it is not as easy as that. You have to apply, then... You have to do what? You have to apply, and uh, you apply willingly. You don't go in for something that you don't like. Secondly, that you, names are shortlisted. When shortlisted, you go in for interview. But not all people who go in for interview go through. So there are those that really fail uh, on interview, uh, you know, on interview level. So by the time you think of applying, so you should... Uh, have developed interest for this very job and the entire interest is heading in for this job so that you can earn the little that this job offers absolutely uh, for me the whole thing is this it should be madness for one to think that they should uh, be uh, we call it billy darling something like that Mm -hmm. Billy, being Billy Dalt or Billy Dally, that we should Billy Dally the, them. The other thing that uh, they should remote control their boss. Mm -hmm. Where on earth are you going to find that? Mm -hmm. So if any member of National Unity Platform is a boss to a given employee, the employee is not willing to work for the agreed amount of money they took this job for. Would you really stoop low for this employee? And yet you know for sure you cannot afford paying money for this employee. Then do you really think about the repercussions hmm, uh, that can come about uh, can come about when this employee lays down the tools in the so-called uh, the famous or the infamous industrial work they are making industrial action. or industrial action they are mm. making? Now for this industrial action they are making, it is taxpayers money that is put to waste mm. they are being paid a salary and they are going to get it full they have uh, gone into this strike for over than a month and are still uh, on taxpayers money that we have our own children that are stuck i got really shocked on reading um some article somewhere on a given um, a media platform and i get it that in some districts learners of primary six primary seven have chosen to teach themselves mm. so as to prepare for primary living examination exactly. look at that disparation do these teachers as always said being a noble indeed and noble do they have a sense of you know parenthood a sense of uh, you know ethics at all look at that look at that disparation when these learners fail who are we going to play there's a certain question i want to end with but before i ask it mm. uh, imagine brainstorm of a situation where a team a football team gets into a competition well knowing they go to these group stages they go to the quarterfinals they go to semi-finals they go to the final. Mm. They take the trophy. And after taking the trophy, they start complaining that the trophy we got, they, they, they organized, it is not good enough. And the money they attached to it is not enough. They should raise it. Mm. This is the same, same scenario these people are setting. Mm. Lastly, mm. 
dance because this is by the way, this is very interesting a question the viewer may i may sound mad mm. do we have enough teachers in this country yes we do can we replace these people like very if, much so if, now if you look at uh, numbers of those that apply mm. and uh, reach the interview those that go through and others who don't go through mm. indeed we have mammoths of numbers and the, by raising the sciences teachers alone mm. which means that the arts teachers are somehow available and cheap that's that's what it means this is not debatable mm. if then we can have more teachers if then we can replace uh these people i think they should look for better paying jobs for me i uh, the other thing i would want to relate this uh, whole discussion uh, to is that political cheap kind of popularity we must always speak for realism uh, in our country we so much no we don't have that luxury of paying 4 million Ugandan shillings to over than 10,000 teachers if it is done it may not be sustainable it may not be a luxury long. i think president Museven is that you have so many, many a lot of things you have so many things at, to at be least done i'm not conquering with you here mm. At least President Museveni's government is doing a lot of things in luxury that don't benefit Uganda. No, what are the things not, that are done in luxury? luxury? The construction of roads is done in luxury. No, that's not what the, the, look here, the and construction the of roads. No. Look here, we've got this time around the parish. Is it parish development, development model. model? Is it done that's as a luxury? Better. So that's we have better. so many things as a country. We must diversify our allocation of funds too, so that we have. Uh, an overall kick of our, of our economic development and growth. So we, we, we cannot just look at salaries of teachers and we take it as a priority. It would be sick. I would want to imagine that those who are pro-teacher kind of striking, they are not doing it in a real good fight. If of anything, why is it that they cannot debate over their lowering of salaries in the parliament over the lowering of True. the amount of money True. allocated to these political parties this every one, year now, now, now why I is it that politics. they are doing it this it is now. politics okay that has been it for this video i would like to thank everybody that is watching that has been watching all that is that those people that take time to watch our videos those people that take time to subscribe people that take time to comment like and share. We are